what is a bully? It's an absolute travesty when a three-year-old can give you that answer. Bullying takes place in classrooms, on school buses, on the playgrounds, on the internet, and continues on in the adult world. In today's special edition, we're going to examine bullying from another perspective, from the brain, which is responsible for so many of our human functions, like our feelings. So we took a select group of kindergartners and first graders from the Hamilton Elementary School in Chicago, Illinois, and asked them some questions about bullying and the brain and their feelings towards bullying. And this is what we got. Take a look. Green and with lots of things that look mean inside it. Curve shaping and upside down. Out of shape. Quacky, glittery, red instead of pink. It's full of naughty things. Mushy and mean. One side is green because they think they're doing the right thing, and then one side is red because they because they're doing the wrong thing. Kind of messed up because someone bullied like them, so their brain is messed up, so they could bully other people and mess their brain up. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that's happened to one of my friends. Mm. Once they be a bully, they think bullying is fun. It could be like, because someone could tell them that they're being mean and they could calm them down. Yes. Because they've been told not to do that. When I was once mad and being a bully, my mom told me to take a deep, deep breath and I did, and that calmed me down and I was a nice person. Maybe they would say, well, I'm not going to stop. So maybe they won't change. Kind of frightened and sad. Very bad. Sad and a little mad. I'll feel kind of like embarrassed. It would feel bad. Sad and I would say stop and if he didn't stop, I would say you're just a mean bully. And I don't want you to stand by me ever, ever again. I would feel kind of brave. I would feel like, I would feel sad and I would tell that bully to stop and it would. I would feel angry at the bully. I would say stop it. I would feel kind of mad. A little sad. No, if you um, be nice for the rest of your life, I'll give you candy or something, like a treat. Um. Tell that bully to stop and and just well try and be nice again. I want to stand up to bullies if they're being mean to other people, even me. Colors can have so many meanings and can be a channel for our expression without words. It can be a symbol of our feelings. So in the next exercise, we asked the first graders and the kindergartners of the Hamilton Elementary School in Chicago, what color is a bully's brain? And this is what we got. This is the mean girl, and she's yelling, I don't like good guys, ha ha ha. I think red is the mean color, so I put red in her grade. I'm sorry, the green is the good and the red is the bad. The red is the bad part and the what? yellow is what? the good part.
we've seen children express their feelings about bullying through the use of words and visual colors. We hope that today's episode serves as a reminder that no form of bullying should ever be tolerated and that we should be conscious about our actions. And if so, we can make the world a better place by treating each other with kindness, respect, compassion, and empathy. And on that note, that's a wrap for Noah Wrapped. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Hmm. And if they're really changed, it's just going to be all green. Oh. And this is my good one, which I like. It's, she likes ice cream, too. And it says, now I love good guys. I'm a good person.